otherwise the marriage won't work. <laughs> really? <laughs> and that sounds scary, but that's... That fall off the truck. And I let God step in. Hi you, welcome back to our channel. I'm Bianca. This is... Christian. And where are the buses? Welcome here. So today we're going to talk a lot about, about, are you, as a married couple, acting as one? So please note that we are not saying anything today out of a place of perfection or we know it all or we got it all down. It's our channel is all about growing and growing together. So. Let's just do that. So please remember to like, subscribe, do all the things and let's get to it. So um, there's a verse, we'll pop it on the screen, that, that basically says that when you are married and you are committing in a covenant before God, um, you are one, you become one. So it's very important to constantly um, focus that on and re-evaluate in a sense to check if you as a couple are actually acting as one and um, yes doing all those things. It is important for a married couple to, to be as one otherwise the marriage won't work. Mm. So we strive to be one. It's not always perfect but uh, Keep on trying. Okay, so obviously um, the first <coughs> easiest thing I'd say is to make decisions together. Um, so uh, obviously um, we still believe that the man is in charge of the household and um, but it's a place of respecting one another, of discussing everything together. Um, so any decision, whether it's big or whether it's financial, whether it's um, going somewhere, small decisions of what you're going to buy or um, are you going to visit someone or I don't know. Example. No, all of those are good examples. <laughs> What are we eating? <laughs> really? <laughs> so just um, chatting about it and coming to a point in a decision together where both parties are satisfied. <laughs> You're a nuisance, kitty cat. <clears throat> where both um, the spouses are satisfied and basically agreeing and not causing conflict. It's always easier to work together better mm -hmm. than against each other and always fighting. It's like that verse where you, it's a that was you read it in the wedding with the free the free braids. The free cord braid is stronger than one. Where free meaning man, wife and God really just um, trying to make all your decisions together um, when there's a disagreement I think the responsibility falls on the husband to make a choice uh, a wise choice <laughs> 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 but yes um, acting as one making decisions as one and that can also step into parenting where um, if dad says one thing, mom should say the same thing and vice versa, just working together as one unit um, and not being like, don't go against your spouse because marriage always becomes before, well, marriage always comes before your children. And that sounds scary, but that's that's how God invented it because you're one with your husband or your wife you are not one with your child mm. you're just there to to learn them and send and them out <laughs> be a good example for them to grow up as well mm. you see or they see you working together working as one 
and uh, giving the same rules and applying them. And so then your child sees it and then he or she wants to be as you. You know, have, hopefully want to have a marriage like yours. Um, set a good example for them. Yes. So, so second way you can act as one as a married couple is in your sex life. Um, basically, we our goal is to serve one another, not to serve yourself. And in sex, that obviously comes through in um, serving one another, satisfying one another, and communicating what you want. Your needs are. Yes. <clears throat> and um, that might sound like you're thinking about yourself, but you are you want to both be happy. You want to both be satisfied. You want to both enjoy it. It shouldn't be a punishment or like, oh, just get it over with. Mm -hmm. it, you should both enjoy it and it should be a beautiful moment. Ugh. Next way you can act as one is just have um, the same dreams and hopes and... Working together to the same end point or to the same goal. Yes. Not uh, you want to go that way, I want to go this way. Mm -hmm. Not working together but working separately and then it starts to be in chaos and then you start drifting apart. So you set a goal for yourself as one, you both work together to that goal and achieving it. And obviously we do have separate dreams and separate goals, like stuff like in your career or just hobbies or something you want to experience on your bucket list, whatever it might be. But um, making sure that your spouse is in on that and supporting you 100%. Um, it's never a good idea to do something without your spouse's support because it is going to create a divide mm -hmm. and basically quake the whole thing. So you want to you want to have um, similar desires, similar dreams, and work toward, like I said, the same goal. Um, and when you work on your own goals, support support each other's goals 100% stand behind them help in any way help in any way that you can and go from there I'd say um, yes <laughs> okay next all right so next way that you can actually act as one is basically just spending time together Mm. It's like if you are getting home after work, making food together, cooking together, washing the dishes, cleaning up the table, putting the kids to bed together. Mm. Like that on the point, like you both live in the same house, you both have the same responsibilities. It doesn't just fall on one person. Sometimes roles might um, be there, but they might change in time depending on where you're at. No. I don't so, say you both wash dishes together in the same sink. Basically, <laughs> one can wash the dishes, the other one can pack away or yeah. uh, do something else in the kitchen or something like that. Or just stand and keep each other company. Yes, if you have nothing to do, just be there. I think just supporting and um, asking questions, having fun conversations, deep conversations, the difficult conversations. Um, doing all those things and actually spending time and investing in one another in that way. Remember to ask how was your day and listen. Yes, continuous questions, active listening. Yes. It's very important and it only, only gets successful with practice. Don't ask a question and you do not want to know the answer to. <laughs> yes all right so moving on to the next way that you can actually be together as one is um in your faith in your faith life that could be look like reading a book together to learn more um to grow better into like spiritual matureness or parenthood or in marriage and just reading together 
um, praying together is extremely, extremely important. And we find that many people are um, shy. I was like that myself. Quite you like you get shy to pray in front of one another, but it's extremely important to do that. And also pray for one another when you are with each other. Yes. Loudly you pray for mm -hmm. your spouse. Anointing your spouse. Um so really praying for one another is important and I I'd say actually this is the most important thing. Yes. Like it's the, the number one. The most important thing that you can do to um be one as a couple because it's just a different level of intimacy. And you're not gonna reach that level of intimacy because it's open, it's vulnerable, it's spiritual, it's very deep. Um, so you're not going to ever reach that level of intimacy if you don't do it. Um, it's very important. And obviously that's the one moment where you are 100% sure that you are doing it with God. You are busy growing your marriage with God. Mm. Um, so constantly trying to pray together daily. Um with faith, I would say that it's quite important to try and grow and mature together. If one's going this way and one's going that way, it can cause problems. Yeah, it will cause problems. It will. But um, it's never if um, one person is going off course. Um, I don't think like it's ever a good idea to attack them and say, hey, you're losing it a little bit. Mm -hmm. um, you could talk to them respectfully and say, this is what I see happening. Um, are you okay? Can I help? Da, 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 da. Then we come back to the feelings. How do you feel about go drifting apart or mm. why are you doing this? And uh, I do not like it. And then also remember just then pray for them separately. Mm -hmm. So there's this it's there's the saying that someone said it's like you cannot nag your spouse into doing something, but you can pray them into doing something. So just um go and talk to God about it and let God step in and you set the example. You continuously share the fruits of the spirit, you stay patient, you stay kind, you stay loving. You say all those things and you will help your spouse and guide them back yeah. to God. They will see it and then they will be willing or also wanting it as well. Yes. Okay, so there's one more topic. Um, and that is taking care of your spouse. Um, one example is if they are sick, easy example. Mm -hmm. um, they're not feeling well, bring them something to eat, something to drink, letting is... them know <laughs> you are there for them. Patting them down with a cloth? Yes. You know, men get very sick. You no, always have to. It's like... difficult for us to take care of the women when they are sick, but, but <laughs> just try it. Just bring the medicine or something, yeah. or even just helping out with any tasks that has to be done. Making them food, mm. cleaning up the house a bit if it's dirty, helping with the kids, take some load off them while they are sick as well. Just yes. a, that's just one example, but taking care yeah. in general overall as well. Yes, you can do that um, basically in daily life, checking in how are they, again, how are they feeling. Um, how are they really doing? Um, what can you help with? How can you um, take some stress off of them? Doing small things like that. Um, showing that they are on your mind during the day with a quick message or a... Thinking of you. Picking a flower next to the road on your way home or something like that. Um, basically anything really a little later uh, no. also goes a long way. Bianca likes it when I pick the sunflowers that fall off the truck. And then start growing next to the road, then I pick some sunflowers for her and then I bring it home. Yes. She likes that. Those. It's so nice. They always grow like so large. Mm. <laughs> um, so really just going out of your way to take care of one another and um, love on one another. 
um, just lavish them a little, spoil them a little with attention, um, whatever love language they have, mm. basically. And to know that, you need to know your spouse, so. Get to know them. Yes. <laughs> Communication, asking questions. We, I don't know, he, he's, he gets um, kind of forced into it. But I love to just do that Google um, five, 50 questions for your spouse or 100 fun conversation questions. And then I just ramble the questions off and we both have to answer. And it's it's normally ends up in laughter. Mm. Um, but answer as quick as you can without thinking. Yeah, but you really get to to learn more um, things About you yourself don't think. As well. Yeah. <laughs> So it's fine. Maybe we should do that once, like on camera. Yeah, on the video. Okay, we'll try it. <laughs> it would be hilarious. So, um, yeah, just start taking care of each other and going out of your way to serve, because that's that's the whole point. Okay. Serve them, love them, and there you go. Okay, is that all of them that we? What did you discuss today? Um, I think the points, yeah. I think we reached the points, uh, hopefully. If there's anything else, we can just make another video and yes. discuss that again. All right, so if there's anything that stood out to you or something that you do to um, stay together as one, please leave us a comment down below and would love to grow with you too and um, have a whole conversation. I welcome you into our boss fam. Thank you. Thank you for watching and clicking on this video and spending some little time with us to grow. We'll see you guys next time. Bye. Bye. I can't reach there. Mm -hmm. <laughs>